What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Davi FX back again with another daily analysis video and a quick peek. Ooh, <laughs> we all saw that. I think, yes, no, two days ago, we got a big, big winner, 1 to 13 trade. Uh, it was all broken down in my previous daily analysis video. And we do have another signal that I called out uh, and the trade that I took running in profit almost at the second target. Amazing, amazing, amazing week. Um, if I, I really recommend to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I basically do them all daily. Sometimes if nothing changes, uh, I'll skip day or two. But today we have something to talk about. I'm going to like in, not in too much detail break down those trades and i'm gonna talk about what i'm gonna be looking in the future for today and tomorrow let's so let's jump jump right into charts so before i begin like i said i do, did call out these trades i do have a group where i share my analysis i share my daily breakdowns i share my signals i share my entries i share my exits exits so you can check uh, all that out in the description. And without further ado, let's 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 look at what we got. So basically, I did br break down uh, analysis, like like I said, um, I was talking about this level yesterday. I was talking about that these uh, uh, candles did not fully touch this demand, this big demand that we have on the left right here, and I was expecting a push higher since. Um, some of the levels that I had here, as you can see, the price did not touch this supply right here. So I was expecting some kind of momentum to the upside. Let's look at four hour chart and let's see what we got. So uh, one of the most important things that I want to mention is when we look at a daily time frame, we do have a inverse head and shoulders that has confirmed and that has been holding the price for a very significant amount of time. I think if I go to, you know what, 12 hours, it's going to be a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, it's a little bit more obvious. So we do have this neckline right here. Let me make this a little bit more obvious. This was the neckline. And as you can see, for the past couple of days, the price did respect this neckline. It did fail to break below and continues to the upside. So now setting my overall bias, I know I understand that there's a recession uh, coming. I know that I understand that there's a lot of bearish momentum, but at some point the price has to go up. So my, my job as a trader is to decide where's the high probability is the price going up or the price going down. So as I was looking at this inverse head and shoulders and the way the price was respecting this inverse head and shoulders, my overall bias is at least for a short term bullish. So that is why uh, I was looking for long positions. Now let's go to the lower time frame, And when the price was somewhere around here, I said that I was looking for shorts if the price touches this level, and then we're gonna run this price down to this level. But it didn't really uh, retest my levels properly, so I was just patient and waiting for the price to show me what it wants to do. So the price did break below this neckline, but on a lower time frame. once again, if I go back to the daily time frame, as you can see, all we had was wicks. We didn't have a close below. So uh, the price came down to this level, I think it was like a one minute entry, honestly. Oops. Yep. So the price came to this demand and formed another inverse head and shoulders right at this big demand. Uh, I was waiting for the price to break this neckline. We did break above, we did break below, we did break above, break below. And this third time we broke above, I decided, okay, if the price would have wanted to continue to the downside it would have already did probably and since it break break broke above the neckline for three times i decided to take this entry i did set my uh, stop loss just below this right shoulder of uh, this inverse head and shoulders uh, my first target was one to one i think my second target was one to three and the last target was one to thirteen uh, I told my group that I will be closing most of my position at the second target, which was one to three, somewhere around here. 
and I said that I'm gonna leave the rest running with my stops at break even and the price eventually, I was actually expecting for the price to go to the target, but in a little bit longer time, but it just ripped up and hit our final target of one to 13. What an amazing trade. The price did form another demand. This was another potential entry. I did not take this entry because I think it was past my trading hour. So I was already off the screen. And what happened next, um, we did form uh, another demand here on the left. As you can see, if I go to a little bit little bigger time frame, we can see how well this was respected. And let me show you what and triggered my entry. And this is very important and very, very interesting thing. So we formed another inverse head and shoulders. And what I really liked about this inverse head and shoulders is that we came down to this demand. We respect it. So a lot of buyers, let me clean this up a little bit. A lot of buyers stepped in here at this demand retest. And what happened, the price broke below, stopped out these stop losses that we had here respect it we have a doji we have a strong momentum we came back retested this demand and then continued to the upside forming this inverse head and shoulders so as soon as i had this break of this neckline with this candle right here i decided to enter and as you can see even though the price is very choppy and moving very slowly this is a 13 minute 30 minute time frame it's like taking the whole london session but the price never failed to hold this neckline. As you can see, we have multiple rejections. So we continue to hold in this and the price is moving uh, nicely to the upside. Like once again, like I said to my group, this is a very choppy price action. This is not a clean price action, but sometimes all you have to do is you have to go to the daily time frame and you have to look at those candles. And let me tell you what I saw. So first of all, very, very important thing is the first thing that I saw was this basically a lot of rejections to this uh, head and shoulders neckline. Then we have a weak bearish candle right here. We have a bullish engulfing candle, weak bearish candle, very strong uh, bearish rejection, long, long daily wick, uh, bullish candle. And that's that was like, okay, this is pretty obvious. Like looking at this right here, this is a perfect retest uh, for the price to continue higher. Now, this red zone, you might be asking, what is this? Uh, I think this is the this is going to be the biggest test for the bulls. Now, this is more of a daily zone. Uh, it should be like this. Uh, but what I did, I, I went to a lower time frame and I kind of adjusted my zone uh, to a little bit more precise. So what I am looking for is the price might be uh, coming up uh, all the way to the zone. And this is where we make that decision. Do we reject and continue lower to make a lower low on the bigger time frame, Or are the bulls are going to be strong enough? They're going to show their character and break the zone, retest. And then there's very, very likely, I really think the price is going to continue higher all the way to the supply. And once it comes to that zone, once again, we either reject or we break above and we continue. And that's how you react. I always say react to uh, the price action. Don't don't guess, don't predict. So this is what's, what's going on right here. A beautiful, beautiful trade running in profit. That's that's just amazing. Like, I don't know what else to be talking about. Um, Honestly, this, uh, the red zone, this is going to be key zone. If you haven't entered the position, I think it's not the best time for you to be entering. Uh, it, either the price comes down to this demand and rejects it. Uh, this could be potential re-entry. But at this moment, uh, if I wasn't in the trade at currently, I would just probably be waiting for the price to come to this demand and then decide what it wants to do, break above or reject and then continue to the downside. All right, guys, that was short and simple uh, kind of breakdown of my trades and my analysis. And there's not much more to talk about. Once again, if you don't want to miss any of these moves, you can join my private group or you can join my free group where I do daily analysis charts where I just post the charts and it's on you to enter the trades or not. Also, I do post a lot of educational reels 
and TikToks. So you can check all those things in the in the description. And hope you like it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.